Hello and welcome to our second week of Advent. By now you've probably mm, a little bit of Advent calendar chocolate and maybe you're getting a little bit excited for Christmas. This week, as part of our Christmas collective worship, we're talking about what it means to be a faithful friend. We're going to start off by listening to a Christmas carol. The wonders of love. That's what Christmas is all about. It's all about the people we love, our families, our friends. It's all about spending time with one another, giving to one another and showing each other that we care. Life is by no means easy. And we've seen that this year more than ever. But through all the trials, we have each other. We have our family and that can be our biological family or people who become like family. We have our friends, the people who help us through the tough times and celebrate with us through the good. And we do the same for them. This is what Christmas is all about. But how can we find those faithful friends, those people who will be there for you no matter what? Here's three things we can do to develop good relationships. Number one, check the friendship is healthy. What do I mean? Well, if the whole friendship revolves around one person, they cause drama or they don't respect your boundaries, that's not a healthy friendship. And you should talk to them about it. Pursue friendships that are low drama, that are fueled by mutual respect and give and take. Number two, the second thing we can do to pursue good relationships is to listen. Being a good listener is key to having good relationships. If you want strong relationships with your friends and family, Learn to listen to them. And number three, share. If you are building a good friendship, you should share your thoughts and your emotions with the other person. Allow them to truly get to know you and slowly develop trust. If we are spending time with the right people, truly listening to them and honestly sharing with them, we can develop some great friendships. You might be feeling alone, but you are not on your own. If you need extra support in this area, speak to your form tutor or come and see me. Christmas is a time of togetherness. Pause the video here and discuss the following questions. Christmas is about friendship with one another and about friendship with Jesus. You see, Jesus came to earth so we would not be alone. So we would know that we are loved. In John 15, 13 to 15, Jesus says that he calls us his friends. And in fact, he is such a true friend that he gave his life 
out of love for us. Jesus really does want to listen to us. He wants us to share our struggles and our happiness with him. You are not alone. As we pause in silence now, feel free in that silence to speak to God in your heart. And then I will say a few words to God. Father God, thank you for the wonders of your love. Help us to be true friends to those we love. Thank you for your friendship to us. Amen. This week's challenge is to work on being a true friend by checking our relationships are healthy, by truly listening and by sharing with others. And secondly, our Advent Try Praying Challenge continues. You are not alone. Try praying. Merry Christmas, everyone. See you very soon.